skills to align them with that on gold and platinum. To facilitate availability of raw materials for the steel sector, exemptions from basic custom duty on raw materials for manufacture of CRGO steel, ferrous scrap and nickel cathode is being continued. Similarly, the concessional BCD of 2.5% on copper scrap is also being continued to ensure the availability of raw materials for secondary copper producers who are mainly in the MSME sectors. Compounded rubber. The basic custom duty rate on compounded rubber is being increased from 10% to 25% or 30 kg, whichever is lower, at par with that of natural rubber other than latex to curb circumvention of duty. Cigarettes. National Calamity Contingent Duty on Specified Cigarettes was last revised three years ago. This is proposed to be revised upwards by about 16%. Direct taxes. I now come to my direct tax proposals. Honorable Speaker, these proposals aim to maintain continuity and stability of taxation, further simplify and rationalize various provisions to reduce the compliance burden promote the entrepreneurial spirit and provide tax relief to citizens. It has been constant endeavor of the income tax department to improve taxpayer services by making compliance easy and smooth. Our taxpayers portal received a maximum of 72 lakh returns in a day, processed more than 6.5 crore returns this year. Average processing period reduced from 93 days in financial year 13-14 to 16 days only now. And 45% of the returns were processed within 24 hours. We intend to further improve this, roll out the next generation common IT return form for taxpayer convenience and also plan to strengthen the grievance redressal mechanism. MSMEs and professionals. MSMEs are growth engines of our economy. Micro enterprises with turnover up to two crore of rupees and certain professionals with turnover of up to 50 lakh rupees can avail the benefit of presumptive taxation. I propose to provide enhanced limits of three crore and 75 lakh respectively to the taxpayers whose cash receipts are no more than 5%. Whose cash receipts are no more than 5%. Moreover, to support MSMEs in timely receipt of payments, I propose to allow deduction for expenditure incurred on payments made to them only when payment is actually made. Cooperation. Cooperation is a value to be cherished in realizing our Prime Minister's goal for Sekar Se Samridhi and his resolve to connect the spirit of cooperation with the spirit of Amrit Kal. In addition to the measures proposed in Part A, I have a slew of proposals for the cooperation sector. First, new cooperatives that commence manufacturing activities till 2024, 31st March shall get the benefit of a lower tax rate of 15% as is presently available to new manufacturing companies. Secondly, I propose to provide an opportunity to sugar cooperatives to claim payments made to uh, sugarcane farmers for the period prior to the ass assessment year 2016-17 as expenditure. This is expected to provide them a relief of almost 10,000 crores. Thirdly, I am providing a higher limit of 2 lakh per member for cash deposits to loans in cash by primary agricultural cooperative societies and primary, agricultural, primary cooperative agriculture and rural development banks. I repeat that. Thirdly, I'm providing a higher limit of two lakh per member for cash deposits to and loans in cash by primary agricultural cooperative societies and 
primary cooperative agricultural and rural development banks. Similarly, 